my friends now we are going to discuss about the splitting of the signals the splitting of the signal is mainly due to the neighboring of neighboring of protons this the splitting of the signals is calculated by the n plus 1 rule what it says means see now we are going to calculate splitting of the methylene protons so for how many splittings is there one peak how many it will divide how many splitting of the signals so this is the methyl this is neighboring neighboring protons these are all so i said n plus 1 so here how many protons is there 3 so 3 plus 1 equal to 4 so this CH2 will split into the 4 signals that is see 1 2 3 4 so this CH2 peak means this all is actually single peak it will divide into the multiple peaks this area under the curve of this pole or this 4 this is similar so the, this CH2 will give quadrate okay. then we are going to calculate the splitting of the methylene, methyl group so this methyl group how many neighboring protons is there here n means number of neighboring protons see here CH2 is there means 2 protons is there so 2 plus 1 equal to 3 so this CH3 will going to split into 3 peaks see like 1 2 3 so this CH3 will this CH3 will peak will split into three multiple peaks so this is the splitting of the signals so this is the concept behind splitting of the signals so then what is the spin spin splitting spin spin splitting means the neighboring protons the neighboring protons spin will affect the protons of the adjacent groups so here also same concept here we are going to calculate the ratio means how the intensity of the peak here I am representing small peak here I am representing large peak here I am representing large peak here I am representing small peak so by this will be occurs so here we are going to calculate that one how much intensity or how much ratio this splitting will occur here we are we are we can know that splitting how many peaks will occur by splitting here we are going to calculate about the how much intensity of the peaks is going to be occur in splitting so now see here for example CH3 CH2 Br as earlier see CH2 will give quadrate CH3 will give you triplet see CH3 adjacent is 3 plus 1 so for this n plus 1 means 3 plus 1 will give you quadrate for this 2 plus 1 so triplet triplet will give after that see now we are going to calculate for example see methylene protons now this will arrange like this either two protons will align it towards the applied magnetic field or two protons will oppose the mag applied magnetic field either one aligned and one opposed same like one proton aligned or another will oppose see here this is one here two will be there two types of transitions so two then one so this peak intensity will be like this first one is one one ratio then 2 ratio means exactly double of this so 2 this peak double so 2 then 1 ratio so the ratio of this is 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay then 
This ratio we are giving by applying the Pascal's rule. Pascal's as we all know the Pascal's rule. See the Pascal's rule peak area ratio. Peak area ratio. That peak area ratio will calculate if it is singlet. Singlet means only one is there. If it is doublet, for doublet one is to one ratio. That peaks will be there. One is to one means one is to one. Equal one one. One is to one. So then triplet means see here I said for the triplet it means for this triplet one is to two is to one. It means see one is to double for this peak then. One, then two means double of this p, then one means exactly correlating with this. So one is to two is to one, that ratio. Then quadrant one is to three is to three is to one. So in this ratio, the peaks will be appear. So this is the concept about spin spin fluid. Now we are going to discuss about the coupling constant. The coupling constant is represented by the Value z. So this is important. The coupling constant is denoted by the letter z. Then, so what is the coupling constant? Coupling constant means the distance between the distance between the two peaks in multiplet. In multiplet means I said now. So this is related to. One one molecule only, but this area is related to one type of protons. But in this, this will divided into split into various peaks, split into various peaks. So in this, these are all called multiplet. So the distance between two peaks in multiplet is called as a coupling constant. It is represented by the value j. Then it measures in. The coupling constant is measured in the heads or CPS, that is cycles per seconds. So up to this, NMR is completed. If any queries is there, you can contact with Pharma Tapas. That is uh, the website is www.pharmatapas.com. Thank you.